Hello and welcome to a discussion on the income statement. After viewing this video, you will be able to define the purpose of the income statement, define a revenue, determine when a revenue is reported on the income statement, define an expense, determine when an expense is reported on the income statement, and define a gain or a loss. The income statement is designed to tell investors and creditors about the earnings of the company that occur from operating the business for a certain period of time. The income statement is a report of what happened during the period. It is not a report of the cash received or paid during the period. The income statement begins with sales revenue and subtracts cost of goods sold to get gross profit. Gross profit is profit earned from selling inventory. Operating income is determined after subtracting operating expenses. Administrative, selling, and research and development are typical operating expenses. Operating income is the result of transactions with customers. Other revenues and expenses, such as interest or gains and losses, are considered to get income before tax. Tax expense is subtracted to get net income. Net income is the earnings for a period of time. This statement reports the earnings from the activity during the period. The income statement begins with revenues. A revenue occurs when a company provides goods or services to customers in exchange for an asset, typically cash, either now or in the future. Revenues are considered earned when the goods or services have been provided to customers and nothing more is owed to the customer and the company reasonably believes the customer will pay. Revenues are not reported because cash is received. The income statement does not report cash exchanges. Expenses are the cost of providing goods and services to customers. The word incurred is used to indicate an expense happened. Expenses are incurred when a service is provided to the company that must be paid for or an asset other than cash is used to provide goods or services to customers. Gains and losses are also reported on the income statement. A gain results when an asset is sold for more than cost and a loss occurs when an asset is sold for less than cost. Here are a few examples of revenue that occurred during this period. In each of these examples, the goods or services are provided to the customer. Take a moment and read through the examples. The goods or services must be provided to the customer in order for revenue to be reported. Here are some examples of things that are not revenues. Revenues do not occur until the goods or services have been provided to the customer. Revenues are not reported when an order is received or when a service is scheduled, when agreements are made, or even when cash is received. Revenues must be reported in the period the goods or services are provided to the customer. Expenses are incurred when a service is provided to the company or an asset other than cash is used up to produce revenues. In each of these situations, the expense has been incurred during the current period and an expense is reported on the income statement. The service has been provided to the company or an asset other than cash was used up. Here are a few examples of situations that will not be reported as revenue in the current period. The advertiser has not yet provided the service. The employees have not yet worked. Insurance coverage has not yet been provided. And the supplies and inventory have not been used to provide to customers. 
the service must be provided to the company or an asset other than cash must be used in order to report an expense on the income statement. Expenses are not recorded just because cash is paid. After viewing this video, you should be able to define the purpose of the income statement, define a revenue, determine when a revenue is reported on the income statement, define an expense, and determine when an expense is reported on the income statement. You should also be able to define a gain or a loss. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. The practices you learn will give you examples of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work through the practice test to verify your understanding. Write the answers out and check your answers to the answers and explanations provided. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.